The eye works like a camera. The lenses in the front focus the image on the retina, where nearly 1.2 million individual photoreceptors take the image and send it to the brain through the optic nerve. The oxygen and nutrients needed by the intraocular structures is brought in part by a transparent fluid known as the aqueous humor. This fluid circulates throughout the eye, finally leaving through the angle between the iris and the cornea. At the very tip of this angle, there is a structure known as a trabecular meshwork. The fluid has to go through this meshwork in order to be reabsorbed into the body's circulation. In patients with glaucoma, the meshwork is so tight that the fluid accumulates inside the eye, causing an increase in pressure. This leads to damage to the optic nerve and loss of neurons. When this happens, the visual field is affected. The periphery is affected first, but the field loss slowly encroaches on the central vision, finally causing complete loss of vision, if not treated early and appropriately. The treatment usually consists of drops that decrease the production of aqueous humor or increase its outflow. If this treatment is inadequate or not tolerated, a second option is to treat the trabecular meshwork with a special laser in a procedure known as a selective laser trabeculoplasty. The photochemical effect of the laser on the trabecular meshwork causes it to allow the flow of aqueous in a much easier way allowing the pressure inside the eye to drop, usually about 20 to 30 percent. The effect can last years, and in some patients it can even be permanent.